Hey guys, what's up? It's Huntsman. I am here with something new, and hopefully, a new series. A thing we can do. This is a Pokemon Link battle. It's me versus a a really close friend of mine. His name's um or his Pokemon name is Awesome, and it's a pretty sweet battle. Hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, let's do this. Yeah. If you guys like it, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button. It means the world to me, and it really. It really helps me out, like, more than you guys will know. Okay, so he leads with Delphox, and I send out my Drifblim. And this is where it starts getting funny. He uses Psyshock, but since Drifblim is, like, just a natural tank, it does, like, it just halves my damage. It's not too bad. I use Minimize, and this is where it starts getting fun and rage-worthy for him. Because now he, he's having trouble hitting me already. See? And I avoided the attack. And now I'm going to use Stockpile so that my massive amount of health gets even harder to take down. He leads with another Psy Shock, but I avoid it and I use Minimize. Now at this point, he's getting a little bit angry and he's wondering what's going on. It's pretty funny to watch his reaction and he's accusing me of cheating now so yeah then we're gonna go into stockpile again remember this is just a setup Driftblim isn't even gonna attack Driftblim is just gonna set up for the next Pokemon I avoided the attack minimize I think we know where this is going but he doesn't. And when I was battling him, I remember this. We had, like, set up a date that we were going to battle because he thought that he was so much better at Pokemon than I was and that I was bad. And, yeah. Well, you'll see how it turns out. Apparently, he doesn't realize that you can actually use strategy in Pokemon. Oh, well. He got better the second time we battled, though. So he hasn't even hit me for a while. This is where it starts getting fun. I use Baton Pass, and if you guys don't know what that move does, it sends all of like my stat buffs the, um, like, that I got from Stockpile and Minimize onto whoever I send out. And I send out Snorlax, who's another natural born tank, who also knows Stockpile. Normally you can only get three total Stockpiles, and then you're maxed out. But since I use Baton Pass, I can get six. So no one is going to be able to even dent Snorlax. And I hate when people say that, oh, Snorlax is fat, he's not even a good Pokemon. He can't do anything. Because, <sighs> well, you'll see. I won't spoil it. He avoided the attack because he also has the Minimize. And he uses Stockpile again. This may look like he hurt me, but he didn't. I hurt myself because... It's a pretty cool move, it's called Belly Drum. This move, it cuts my health in half, but then it maximizes my attack. It's pretty ridiculous what it does. And that did like 10 damage, that's ridiculous. Because I'm fully stockpiled now, and now I'm going to use the old Chesto Resto. If you don't know what that is, it's when you use, when you sleep and then have a Chesto Berry attached so you wake up instantly and you're fully healed. And then I avoided the Rock Smash and I used Crunch. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Swimmy. <laughs> oh, that's just ridiculous. Gives me a sense of pride to realize what just happened. Lulu. Now, even though he's a fighting Pokemon, and he's Mega, and he's using Aurasphere, arguably a great fighting move, it won't even scratch me. Watch this. It did like 28 damage, I think. Then I'm going to use Crunch, and this is going to do more than half health on him. It's pretty ridiculous. If you guys have seen this strategy somewhere else, yeah, they probably deserve credit. I just worked on this. I tried to do what worked for me. I've always used Snorlax and Drifblim. I think that they're a great duo, and yeah. 
So this isn't like an I found the strategy video. This is just like a look at the strategy. It's pretty legit. Feel free to use it. And now he sends out Venusaur and tries to put me to sleep, but I avoided it. And then I use Crunch, and goodbye Venusaur. It's pretty crazy what you can do with just a little bit of setup and a little bit of planning. And he comes out with a Blaziken. I avoided the attack, and I used Crunch again. I just realized he has, like, three possible Megas on his team. That could have been bad. And it takes down his defense. He uses Blast Burn, and he actually gets the hit on me. Oh, that does... M oh, he got a critical. That sucks. That's not too good. But I can just use Crunch again. And he's gonna die. Bye-bye, Blaze again. Nice job. And GG Nuri. He sends out Delphox again. Oh, he actually gets the hit in. But it's not gonna do much. Cause Snorlax is a tank, and I use rest, and I'm back at full health. And he can't do anything about it. If only Snorlax could use, like, recycle, because I used the Chesto Berry already. If he could use a recycle, then I could use the item again. That'd be kinda sweet. Snorlax is, like, the ultimate tank, in my opinion. I woke up, and I used Crunch, and goodbye Delphlox. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. He fainted. That's cool. Yeah. You guys can tell where this is going. Evital, the legendary Y Pokemon. But, can he survive a Crunch? Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. He uses a foul play, which does a ton of damage because it just matters how much attack your opponent has. Ooh, and goodbye, Evital. Thanks for playing. Sorry you couldn't last longer. And yeah, that's the end of that battle. I won. It was pretty fun. And he's one of the nicest guys I know, so you guys should go check out his channel. It's pretty sweet. And yeah, if you guys want this to be like a continued thing, because I really do, and if you want me to actually like play through Pokemon Y, I'd love to do that. That It's such a fun game. Um, so yeah. Uh, please leave a like on the video if you liked it, but don't feel like you have to. It's not a requirement. It just helps me out a ton. And subscribe if you liked the video that much. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.